Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dearest one, we love you and are happy for this invitation to connect. Today we want to talk about how to allow your life to have even more ease. If you did what felt right to you, without trying to do things that are seemingly at odds with your own energy you would simply be true to yourself, aligned and flowing in the present and your life would feel wonderful to you. When you get excited about things you want and are in alignment, often you'll receive ideas. We want you to start to practice noticing that ideas are manifestations you've allowed to happen. An idea being received is a manifestation. Notice when you get wonderful ideas that you're flowing, you're allowing yourself to receive. If you flow naturally into action on ideas you receive, wonderful. If not, if action feels overwhelming, or somehow hard, then know that it's not time to act. Enjoy the idea. Savor the idea. Feel the promise of the idea for as long as it feels good to you. We want you to realize, to really grasp in a way that sticks, that your divine wholeness, knows the path to all you desire. And not just any path, but the best path. The easiest way, the action, the mode of being the movement that will work, for you, reliably, right now. When you allow yourself to be in harmony with who you are in the present you empower that path. When you get ideas and can glimpse how that path might be brought into being with action too, that can be celebrated. Clarity in and of itself can be enjoyed and it does feel good to get ideas and be clear. Seeing your way, your role and things coming about is fun. If taking action on those things requires of you energy you don't feel right when you get the idea, then it's not time to take action. Your timing is perfect when you know to act. When you cannot help but act. If you're not feeling an enthusiastic, unstoppable drive to act, then don't. Instead and whenever you think of it, whenever you can, do what does feel unequivocally yes to you. Choose the easy way and you empower the easy way of life. Sometimes you see how you might act, you get clear about possible action, a way you might play a role in collaborating, in bringing it about, but don't feel inspired to act now. Enjoy that. Enjoy the clarity and the manifestation of the ideas, the insight. When it is time for you to act, you'll feel like acting and it may or may not be that action you glimpsed before. It will be the action that brings things about what you're ready for, and it will come to you, to act, when the way is open. You see? We know that things can be easy for you and fun. We want you to learn to let things to be easy for you. We want you to realize you can have an easy path, and often it means more focus on alignment and how you are using your attention and less action. More vibrationally focus. Do less. Be aware of yourself as a focuser of energy more of the time. Pay attention to how you feel and do what you can easily do, what feels natural and effortless and good. Do what feels good to you. Think in ways that feel good to you. If this is unfamiliar to you, learn how. How? Practice and pay attention. Notice how you feel. You can spend more time, focusing, on purpose and learning how to tune into who you truly are and all you've become and less time taking action and accomplish more. In fact, if you tip that balance significantly you'll see your life moving in the direction you want, faster and with more ease. What we're suggesting to you is to empower the easy way. Only you can do that. The easy way is easier. It's about letting it be easy and for many of you that might be letting go more. Letting go of trying when you don't feel like trying. Let go of thinking manifestations only happens when you act. Learn to recognize the manifestations of feelings, of ideas, and enjoy what feels good to you without needing it to be more, without pushing it beyond what it is. Enjoying what is showing up in your consciousness, be it ideas, be it knowing that lying down would feel good, be it a sudden impulse to vacuum and more your furniture around. Let what occurs to you and feels right, easy, natural, let that guide you. All of this is about you learning to trust you. 
Learning to live this way is learning to let the eternal you and the physical you be present at the same time, consciously, on purpose, in unity and in harmony. Each have perspectives and roles and you can empower that unity and flow and it will feel so good to you. Learning how to tune into all that you are and allow your experience to flow forth easily, is an exquisite and entirely realistic way to live. No one need agree with you for this to be true. What you pay attention to, and how you pay attention to it, create your life. Our suggestion is simply that you learn to feel and trust yourself. Learn how to line up with who you are more often and to experience what comes from this empowered relationship between you and you. Ease. Whatever feels easy and right to you is beneficial to you and it is showing you, moving you, pointing you into a more receptive state in regards to what you want. You will know when you are in sync because when you are you feel good. The more in sync you are, the better you feel. You will know when action will flow when you it feels natural to you, effortlessly even. To empower the easy way pay more attention to how you feel and make that the priority. You can live that way, rather than the more common way of using lots of effort and action to accomplish things. Do this and life will be easier for you. Let yourself experience the easy way, the flow of empowering who you truly are, here. We are complete. I am Archangel Michael with the Council of Radiant Light.